Welcome back. It could be the medical miracle for thousands waiting for kidney transplants. What if you could just grow a new one? Our Philip Palmer has the sci-fi solution that could change lives. The CDC estimates 15% of adults in the U.S. have chronic kidney disease and 9 out of 10 don't know they have it. Roughly 500,000 are on dialysis. And to make matters worse, many current COVID patients are showing signs of kidney damage. They may be living with chronic kidney disease and eventually needing dialysis or uh, transplantation or some other therapies. The problem is right now we don't have uh, enough transplant kidneys available. Nearly 100,000 people are already on the kidney transplant waiting list in the U.S. And with nearly 25 million COVID cases across the country, a future surge in those numbers is possible. Researchers at Keck School of Medicine of USC may have the answer to the kidney shortage. I think that we have a, a system here which you know, could be the first system that we do synthesize a, a new organ. The goal for the team of researchers is to synthesize a kidney with sufficient function to keep a person off dialysis, a treatment that is life-saving but difficult. Lori Hartwell was on dialysis for 13 years. It's very burdensome, and so if you could have an artificial kidney that would allow you to live the life you were meant to live and get up and do everything you want, it would be a huge breakthrough. In terms of making a functional organ, researchers around the world generally use a special type of stem cell to develop a small kidney for research. It works for modeling the kidney, but it's not effective for making one. USC's team is trying to recreate what happens in the developing fetus when early cells interact during the initial steps of developing a kidney. The ingredients for making a real kidney, the recipe book, is these specific progenitor populations, and we combine them together in the recipe to synthesize the kidney. Currently, there's not a method in a lab to grow a kidney large enough for a person, so the plan is to grow the synthetic kidney in a pig within five years. If that happens, the USC team is confident they can develop a system to generate these structures at scale by the thousands. I do think that it can provide a, a solution for the large number of people that you point out need a solution. Just stay alive till the next miracle happens. That's what I always say. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.